A Utah man left his motel room and never returned. That was six years ago, and his wife hopes someone knows what happened to him. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC 4's senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Missing in Utah. That's what Adam Brixley's wife believes what's happened to him. But she also realizes he may not be alive. At the time, we were using drugs. And we were staying at a Motel 6 in Riverdale. At the time, Adam Brixey finds work with his dad in downtown Ogden. They prepare a building for demolition, but he also returns after hours. Him and a friend of mine went over there and was getting metal and copper so they could sell it. In 2015, there's a warrant for Brixey. Police want him for drug possession and trespassing. They knock on the door at the motel, but Adam's not there. She calls her friend, Randy Thackrell, who often joins Adam to search for copper. She says Adam's supposed to be with him, but Adam's nowhere to be found. She begins her search for her husband. We went back over there because I had uh, Adam's backpack, his laptop, and all of his clothes. So he had virtually the clothes he had on, and uh, a hat and glasses. And it's they arrive at the abandoned building and look inside, but there's no trace of him. She contacts Ogden police in hopes of doing a thorough search, but she claims they won't help because there's no indication of foul play. Brixie has a hunch that Adam gets stuck in a vent while searching for copper. Do you think he's in there? I think he is. Think he ran away, took off? I don't believe so, no. Why do you say that? Because all his family is here. That was six years ago, and since then, she visits homeless shelters in Ogden, even hitting the streets looking for him. Two years later, the building's finally demolished. In its place sits a new apartment complex. What's life been like for you for the last what, five years? It's been something else. <laughs> Danielle Brixey relapses after becoming depressed, but she gets help through counseling and is now back on her feet. Even though he's missing, I still have to move on and live my life for me. And so they had me write an obituary for him. She says writing an obituary for Adam Brixley opened her eyes to reality. Wednesday in part two of our story, theories behind his disappearance and the latest efforts to find him. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.